Now to a CBS2 investigators exclusive, an insider's account. What he says he witnessed being done with vats full of cancer-causing chemicals at a north suburban plant. It's one of several companies now accused of knowingly polluting the community for decades. Here's CBS2 investigator Dave Savini. Welcome to Union, Illinois. Population about 500. Best known as the home of the historic Illinois Railway Museum. Surrounded by farmland and factories. How old are you, Dana? I'm 48 years old. Please go in here. Always outdoors, not knowing there was a secret here in Union. One, she says, changed the course of her life. I was a child, so, you know, I didn't pay attention to what was being done. That's Dana in the 1980s in her backyard, right next to two plants accused of dumping toxic chemicals into the land. Operators of the plants deny they are to blame. I wasn't feeling well for actually years. Dana never thought much of the plants back then. Now she is haunted by them. What do you believe? I believe that for 20 plus years that I was slowly poisoned with these cancerous chemicals. One plant, Fibrotech, later bought and sold, is no longer. All you can see is what's left behind. Decades old tests here show the ground was contaminated. So was the land around another plant, Central Wire. It's changed ownership over the years, but was once called Tech Alloy, which manufactures metal and wire products. These square-shaped pipes are monitoring wells drilled deep in the ground to keep tabs on pollution. This monitoring well is right at the end of Dana Harper's old street. What goes through your mind when you see that well? That there was, yeah, chemicals being dumped. Then years later came the lump. On my lymph nodes, on my collarbone here. In 2017, she was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and went through grueling treatment. I was devastated. I was scared to death. They would take 800 gallon vats and dump them on the ground. Scott Carr would know he worked on the inside. You saw me swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. For the first time, we are hearing from the former head of maintenance at Tech Alloy. In sworn testimony, he alleges thousands of gallons of toxic cleaning fluid containing TCE, trichloroethylene, were dumped outside by other workers. He would dump it on that side of the building. And you're referring to Johnson Street is where Dana Harper lives? Yes. TCE is a cancer-causing chemical. Over time, it eventually turns into vinyl chloride and DCE, dichloroethane. They become vapors and can seep into homes. Records reported to the EPA in 1990 reveal dichlorothane was found on Harper Street. And it's an uncurable disease. You believe the chemicals that were dumped into the ground are responsible for your cancer? I do. Dana says dozens of neighbors just from her street have cancer or have died from cancer through the years. I would say 30 that I know of. Including her mom. What kind of cancer was it again? Multiple myeloma. Her mom, Donna Gall, died in 2003. She was 65. What did it do to you to lose Donna? Oh, uh, you're never the same. Never. Harold Gall also believes his wife's and daughter's cancers are connected. They never would have built there, that's for sure. No. Never thought about the chemicals. Neither did the insider. I used to put my hands in it straight up with no rubber gloves or nothing and a brush, clean the wire. He said for years they would dump vats of TCE outdoors to get rid of it until they learned the truth about what they were dumping. Material was dangerous to people and what it did to the environment. You might wonder where was the state and federal EPA during all of this? After years of dumping, the US EPA stepped in at this plant, which used to be called Tech Alloy, to do a cleanup back in 1990. 30 years later, it's still going on. And here at the site of what was once the Fibrotech plant, the state EPA continues to deal with a voluntary cleanup of this property. Now this pumping station and evaporation machine are supposed to get rid of TCE, sending what's left into the Kishwaukee River. There's literally a, an entire chart 
of chemicals that were found that were in the soil and in the water. The focus point here is TCE because it is uh, right next to a school, a grammar school. Stephen Blandon is the Harper family attorney. How many people do you believe have cancer? There's, there's no way of knowing, um, in part because so many of the kids that would have been exposed when they went to the school have moved away. Think of all the people in this neighborhood? Yes, all the kids that attended Evergreen Park School, the whole community. I always felt that these companies came to Union because it's a small community and they can get away with more than they could have. At the cost of the community. Yes. Remember Scott Carr? He's not only an insider, he's also sick. I got colon, liver, and there's a bladder. During Carr's deposition, you can see at first he rubs his arm. Later, he begins to bleed. And by the end of the deposition, it's worse. And how long was it expected or projected to take to uh, clean up the rest of the plume? <laughs> We're going to be long dead. Fibrotech stated they did not use TCE and PCE. Central Wire, which bought Tech Alloy, claimed it complied with safety standards. So far, eight other people from her neighborhood are also suing and say they got sick. Harper wants new tests performed at her old grammar school. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators.